Our Dr. Tara Narula is here with how infectious the disease actually is and how it affects the human body. Tara, good morning. Good morning. What do we actually know about how the virus is spread? So what we know about COVID-19 is based on what we know about how other coronaviruses are spread, which is person-to-person -person contact by droplets. So if I cough or sneeze, those droplets can travel up to six feet and enter your mouth or your nose or your lungs. Another way is if I cough or sneeze and it lands on a surface or an object, and then you touch that same object or surface and touch your face, the virus can enter that way. Uh, you know, we do think that, um, as I said, the spread is confined to about six feet, that it's not really airborne like some uh, diseases like measles are for example um, so that's why people are concerned with the masks uh, what are some of the signs and symptoms so signs and symptoms fever cough shortness of breath in some cases people can have headache or even diarrhea muscle aches sore throat runny nose congestion it's easy to work yourself up I was in the gym working out in another in LA over the weekend somebody starts coughing you look over at them you're on a plane somebody right. starts coughing and sneezing yeah. How do we put this in perspective, Tara, about how worried we should be and when to really get worried? I think what everybody is saying is that we need to be prepared and not panicked, right? That's what the Easier people, said than done, It though. is easier said than yeah. done. But when you look at what we know from China, 80% of those cases were mild. They had mild symptoms. Yeah. Only about 14% were severe and even less were critical. The death rate that we have calculated at this point is about 2%, although because there's probably so many more cases than we've detected, it's probably even lower. Mm. So in the grand scheme of things, for most people, if they get it, it will end up being a mild disorder. And it can be problem. treated. It can be treated yeah. if you get it. It can be treated. Well, treated with supportive care, right? We don't have any sort of antiviral that's designated. Yeah, there's no vaccine. Yet, when, and there's no when vaccine. Does it, when does it become deadly? Right. Yeah. So the issue with COVID-19 is that this virus can affect the lower tract of your airway. So it can enter those cells that line your respiratory tract in the lungs. And there it can start to replicate and damage those cells. What happens after that point is your immune system launches a response to try to clean up and repair. The problem is in some people that immune system response is so overwhelming, it's not in check. And that basically floods the lungs with inflammatory uh, mediators and cellular debris. And you also have leakiness of the blood vessels. So essentially the lungs start to drown. And that's a situation that can become a severe pneumonia. The pneumonia can then progress to what we call sepsis, where you can have a drop of blood pressure. Mm -hmm. And multi-organ failure and that's how it really causes death you know the lungs are where we exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide so if your lungs are full of fluid and debris and the cellular material you cannot get oxygenated blood into your cells to the rest of your body that's how it becomes severe all right dr tara, tara narula your name hasn't changed <laughs> thank you thank you very much thank you